Callie Storm Doll here, and today I'm doing a review of DC Superhero Girls Hawk Girl. Now, this is Hawk Girl straight out of the box. Hawk Girl um, sadly came out towards the end of this doll line, unless I mean this specific um, design of them. She came towards the end. And her quality shows it. But before we go into the doll, we're going to look over her um, one accessory. Like, I think she could have came with a mace or something. But she only comes with one accessory. I'm just trying to get her to stand back up. She can do it. Yes. All right. Oh, okay. So, the one accessory that Hot Girl comes with are these wings. You can see they're all this basic silver. They don't move at all. They just plug right into her back. Now we should be lucky that we even got this and not wings just painted onto her clothes. So this was the end of this line. So they kind of cheaped it up a bit. And you can definitely tell. So those are her wings. And this is the doll. So we're going to go over her top to bottom. Now on top, Hot Girl does come with her mask. And... I believe you have to cut the string yeah, and you can lift her mask down and cover up her eyes. She has this brown hair with these um, blonde highlights underneath. It looks like it has blonde on this side and blonde on that side. And those are the only two areas that we get blonde in. But it's a cute mix. Looking at her face up, she does have green eyes. She has a little blush on her cheeks and she has a pink lipstick. Her eyebrows are nice and full. No earrings. She's wearing a painted on yellow top. She has her hawk girl symbol on, which is separate. She has a hole in the back for her wings. She has this um, belt. She's wearing these green bejeweled pants. And she has on her um, gold and red hawk girl boots. And she also comes with two cuffs. Now, and the sad thing about this is she's a very pretty doll. You know, it's no denying that. Hawk Girl is very beautiful. But by her coming out towards the end of this doll line, her shirt is painted on. The pants don't even go all the way. They could at least put them down to the ankle. They just left them out. Um, But luckily, we got the most of the major points of articulation. Like her heads move, her arms, elbows, wrists. But because she came out towards the end, she doesn't have the middle section like a lot of the older um, superhero girls do. But she does have knees and she has, you know, everything else. But she doesn't have that. The pants are removable and I think underneath it'll just be like a yellow. So it'll just look like a bathing suit. Yep, and I was right. So underneath it just looks like a bathing suit. So you can take hot girl swimming if you want to. But yeah, um, I think for what I paid for her, I actually found her at a store for $7. I think that was a good price. I hate to say that, but when they really cheap it up, it's just like, who would want to pay $25 unless you're a fan? Now, if you're a fan, I don't knock it. But who would genuinely want to just go to the store and pay $25 for this? Like, they really dulled her down. I love her. I'm glad I was able to find her and add her to the collection. You know, I love adding more and more girls to my superhero collection. But this is Hawk Girl. Maybe I can find a little mace to put in her hand. I like that they gave us the hand to hold the mace, but they didn't give us a mace. But I want to thank you guys for watching my review. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. If you're new to my channel, simply subscribe. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.
I'm a me, so I came to this trade world hoping I could.